This is Jeff with Eternity Shore, and Mary and I came to the boat today for three reasons. First, uh, to replace the anchor that we lost last week, which you've probably already seen that video. If you didn't, we lost our Delta anchor, so we bought a new one, and today our goal is to try to reattach that to the boat. While we're doing that, though, we have wanted for a long time to mark the chain, the road, uh, in the, the line for the anchor. And so we've got some paint and we got a marker. And we're going to first do that because it'll be a lot easier to do that without the anchor. Okay, so the third reason is there is a storm on its way here. Maybe a tropical storm, we're not sure, but we want to make sure the boat is secured. And for a while, we have not used our Little Mariner 3. We're going to deflate it, uh, our dinghy. We're going to deflate it and uh, put it back on board, make sure everything is secure on board. In fact, right now, I see Mary is dealing with lines. These are all the ones I think that we inherited. Yes. That you're are just taking up space. Yeah, well, you're doing, so we're doing inventory. You're purging. Okay, good. No, excellent. Excellent. We had purchased uh, new lines here. Hooray. <laughs> this is our 22 pound Delta anchor unboxing. There's the Delta anchor, and just in case you were wondering, it is 22 pounds. Same as our previous one, which was 10 kilograms. So I will help you dump it over, and then we'll deflate. Let's bring it over here. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. All right, let me hop on board and, and start pulling. So that's about 100 feet of line right there. And we have 10 feet of chain. So we're going to go ahead and mark that up. You want to stand with the cardboard in front of your legs? Yeah. Ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's that, going the other way. It just went the other way, yep. Right, right. Let me get it any closer. Like one of the worst days to paint. Mm -hmm. All right, we've spray painted and Mary is now marking every 10 feet <laughs> with her trusty marker, which is gonna take a while. While Mary is marking up the line, I am going to start the process with the anchor. I'm not gonna connect the anchor to the chain yet, but I have a shackle here first. I had to get a bigger one because the one I had was too small. And then I have this puppy that rotates. Um, I saw on YouTube somebody else do this because I think our previous anchor just actually had, this was all it had, that was the shackle. This will add a little weight too to the chain. So I'm gonna try to do this right now.
All right. Oh, I got both of those on. With Loctite, and then um, this is going to connect to the chain. Um, we got to feed it through back through the uh, windlass though again. So hopefully this is this will be roller friendly. It goes through there. How are you doing? I'm on eight. You're on eight? Mm -hmm. Just say eight. Nice. So we went with the 40 that way, and then the 50 was just a big, thick one. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you're going for eight. Okay, so you got two more, right? Yeah. Take a look at your work. Here. So we should be able to see that. 10. 70, 3, 50. Nice job, Admiral. <laughs> all right, it's all laid out. We're gonna feed it back in and then we'll have to stick the chain through the front and over here. It's a little bit, a little bit tricky, but it should work okay. Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> the chain doesn't fit in there. Yeah. <sighs> can you string one of those other these things down there? Yes, I can. Can you? Great idea. Can you get one of those? Okay, so there's the new anchor. And what we did was we threw the anchor here. Uh, Mary threw the anchor um, in the water, used the windlass to pull it up. I don't have time to clean the anchor locker. But. Screw this back in. Oh. So now we have, we had to attach two of these uh, because this chain did not fit in here. It's getting windy because the storm is coming. So we've accomplished two things. We've identified the 10 foot marks in the anchor line. We attached the new anchor and got that all seated properly. And now we need to just tie up the boat. This is the floor of the Mariner 3. We just put that on board. And there's the Mariner 3. So we're going to put that on board and tie up and head out. Thank you, Mary. You're all right, let's tie this thing up. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, storm's coming. We've added two lines. We put an extra line here, just in case. And we added another spring line uh, over here. We got what we wanted to get done, done. So that's successful. So now it's time to go home. Thanks for watching Eternity Shore. We really appreciate you guys. And we love your comments, so leave us a comment. Have a great day. Ciao.